Good morning, folks. Reloading Bench back with you on this beautiful Saturday morning. It is uh, eh, not quite 11 o'clock, and we have got a lot accomplished so far. Uh, as you saw in my last video, uh, I did the sanding and cutting, and I've got extra pieces of oak laying around that I might use, and then again, I might not use because my pieces are scrap that I'd have to trim down, which is not a big deal, but with big fingers and a sharp saw, or at least a saw blade, I don't know that I want to do that. So uh, on the way home from running some errands, I picked up a little quarter inch by, what is this, two inch? Yeah. Uh, maybe not quite two inch and a half so quarter inch uh, which is I'd go no deeper you know obviously a lot less uh, recessed than quarter inch but uh, this gives me a, a nice flat cutting surface enough to work my either my fingers uh, or the uh, uh, the push tools for the table saw whereas in this space I'd have to trim this probably to uh, a quarter inch um, which is not a big deal because you know, having the blade up that high again not a big deal but then trimming this down uh, there's a lot less you know half an inch less to work with so um, we'll see and for the two bucks this was I would say it might be the, the way to go but again we'll see um, time will tell so had a great morning uh, love finding stuff online that I've been looking for for oof, this one over a year so uh, last year my son got me my lab radar for a Christmas gift and uh, I realized that after um, I had that I went to go buy the lab radar plate not knowing that lab radar doesn't make the plate anymore so I don't think the plate was successful uh, maybe because it was too flimsy, too thin, too whatever. Um, I can understand that from uh, my mobile press mount days. But I wanted the plate uh, for what I do um, on, on my bench shooting. And uh, found a guy locally that was selling his whole package. And I asked, would you just sell the plate? And he's like, sure. And he said, yeah, it's, it's like new. Um, and most people, when they say like new, you can tell it's, it's not new. He still had it in the bubble wrap and uh, unwrapped it for me and i was expecting you know pieces to be potentially missing or not there or whatever which i guess is the same as missing and uh score so uh lab radar base plate in the house and at the same time he was getting rid of um great price too uh obviously the more you buy the better the price he had uh, some precision delta um 45 ACP, 230 grain round nose, full metal jacket. And uh, I don't know if you guys have looked online, but uh, the price of uh, anything is just absolutely ridiculous. And he was getting rid of these for less than um, what it would cost me today if they were even in stock. So, uh, yeah, that was a score. Um, so that was a great way to start today. So now we will... Get back on target with this particular project and uh, bust out the dado blade and cut my dado all the way across we'll do a test strip see how deep and how wide and uh, we'll uh, come back when that is either in process or done back in a bit all right there is my dado blade all set up and my two cuts, they are 5 sixteenths wide. First cut was just a little too deep. So I shortened that up a little bit. And now I just need to find center of uh, mass for my real cut. And then we'll go cut those back in a little bit. All right, you know that old saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, this was measure like 30 times to cut once because I needed to get that absolutely perfect and I tried to get it as centered as possible in fact it looks pretty good um, in terms of uh, you know where it's cut but it came the dado came out really nice 
really nice. So now it's time to cut some oak to put inside that dado. Back later. All right, that was a whole lot of measuring and some practice cut on scrap wood to make my, let's see if I'm in, to make my, that's my insert. Yes, I'm in frame. All right, so what I'll do is make these just long enough to do the two sides, glue them, let them set a little bit, and then I'll do these two sides. So I cut a couple of these, so I'm good to go, and it's glue time for now. More later.